Hi friends, welcome once again. In this session, we're going to discuss regarding the keyhole predefined profile. Uh, let us see how exactly we can generate this. Just double click on this. It is going to ask for the two centers. One is for the smallest circle, the other one for the larger circle. And uh, remember one thing here, it is not going to ask in terms of the numerical value, that is the radius of the smaller circle as with the larger circle. Here it is going to ask only the coordinates. So you have to provide the radius in terms of the coordinates. It is asking for the first center, enter the first uh, center, 0, 0. So uh, here you have to decide the orientation also, that it is going to be horizontal or vertical. I would like to keep it in the vertical direction. So that is the reason, uh, freeze this uh, x coordinate value. I would like to maintain it in the same condition and then select the vertical coordinate. Uh, either I can maintain it as 400, 600, 700, that is the center to center distance. Remember that whatever vertical value you are giving, that is the center to center distance. In this particular case, I'm going to enter it as 600. Okay, so it's going to ask for the smaller uh, radius. You can observe here. I'm going to provide only in terms of the Cartesian coordinates. I'm going to keep it as zero because uh, it has to co coincide with the center and then vertical. I have to change the value, vertical value. Uh, how can I change it? 600 plus the radius that gives the vertical coordinate value. Now I would like to have a smaller circle that is uh, radius of that circle is 100 units. So make it 700. Okay, it's going to ask for the second radius that uh, largest circle. It's going to be uh, below the first center, whatever I, I had mentioned earlier. So that's the reason maintain this in a zero position and then select this with the negative sign minus 300 that means radius of the larger circle is 300 units you can observe here we got the keyhole and you can perform sketch solving status just click on this this is ISO constraint uh, that's all for today thank you friends thank you for your patience and valuable time keep watching and supporting thank you very much